Happy Spooktober, fellows and yellows. Welcome to Setup Wars, episode 337. Here to make your Mondays just a little bit better. So grab your drinks or coffee, sit back and relax, and let the Setup Wars begin. The AeroFit Pros are the ultimate outdoor sports earbuds from Soundcore by Anchor. The open ear design fits comfortably over your ears and delivers boner-inducing crystal clear highs with incredible bass thanks to the 16.2mm oversized drivers and directional acoustics. The earhook is ergonomically designed with aerospace grade titanium wire, capable of withstanding up to 5,000 bends, which is more than my wife. And with a detachable and adjustable neckband, you are guaranteed total stability during even the most intense workouts. But the coolest feature of these earbuds are the True 360 spatial audio, which tracks your head movements to keep you at the center of the sound. You can enjoy up to 14 hours of playtime on a full charge, however you can extend that to 46 hours with the charging case. But if outdoor extreme sports are too extreme for you, and you're looking for an everyday pair of earbuds with amazing sound quality, then the AeroFits are for you. Ultra lightweight, open ear comfort, balanced and clear sound featuring enhanced situational awareness, the AeroFit will last you up to 42 hours of playtime with the included charging case. But guess what, boys and girls? Just my subscribers, there's a limited time free trial. That's right, you can actually try these out first before you buy them. Check the link down below. Kicking off the episode is a fellow IT tech from California, except the only difference here is that he actually graduated and got his degree, whereas I flunked after the first two semesters. They ask you how you are. You In any case, this is Daniel's submission and it took him about a year to get the setup to this point for gaming and productivity. And I know what most of you guys might be thinking right now. Another IKEA setup with those damn art panels, really? Until there is another competitor out there that offers good looking furniture, tons of different designs with affordable prices. This is it, guys, like this is all we got. Yes, I mean, you can custom make your stuff, but most of us are either lazy or have a potato brain. Why do you think most pre-built companies make millions? It's the convenience factor. I guess what I'm trying to say here is that it doesn't matter where people get their furniture from. Like as long as it brings them happiness, right? That's the end goal here. I've seen bullying from a lot of people just because they use IKEA furniture in their setup and it really annoys me, okay? Like we need to be kind and support each other in the setup community. So if you wanna use IKEA furniture to build your dream setup, go right ahead, okay? Don't listen to the haters out there. Anyways, we're getting off topic here. I really don't see anything wrong with this setup. I see a hardworking individual that busted his ass for a year to get this setup to this point. And he put a lot of thought and planning on the execution to not only build something functional, but a good looking setup as well. We had stacked monitors perfectly in the center that are sandwiched by some speakers. We also got a very clean surface with no cables and a ton of plants and decor for some personality. I do appreciate the fact that you made a hole in the desk to pass through the mic cable, but I really think a boom arm would have made more sense and it would have prevented you from making that hole in the desk. Some isolation pads underneath the speakers would also be a good idea, but everything else about the setup is under control. Fantastic work with the cable management and extra points for mounting the Xbox on the side of the Alex unit. Powering it all is a beautiful custom PC, packing the 10 850K and the ROG Strix 3080 inside one of my favorite cases of all time, which recently got a refresh, the Y70 Touch with a built-in 4K touchscreen. In fact, I did a full video on it. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down below. Such a well-executed setup. Thank you, Daniel, for starting off the show. Speaking of execution, here's a setup that will get all of you corner desk freaks some wood. And we got lots of it too. The main desk has a maple wood countertop that's attached on a motorized base and the stationary desk has an Ikea countertop. But what if I told you that both of these desks have been skinned in wood grain vinyl that he picked up from Amazon, just so they have the same consistent look. It's crazy how much of an impact skins make on desks and it's one of the easiest ways of changing the look of it without being permanent. David is also an IT support, but he works from home. So we had to build a space where you can both game and get some work done. 
The model layout is the first thing that sticks out to me. He's using triple 27 inch displays, but we have two horizontal and one vertical, which I'm sure he has his reasons for. All three monitors are mounted against the desk, and below that we got an NZXT function TKL keyboard paired with the Razer Viper V2 Pro, and a pretty cool mixer that gives you control on all of your audio sources along with shortcuts. If anyone is interested in checking this out for their setup, I'll drop a link to it down below. Due to the nature of the monitor layout, a soundbar made the most sense for the primary source, but it does swap to the Corsair HS80s when it's time to clap some cheeks in Modern Warfare 2 and Overwatch 2. Another pretty cool mod I want to point out here is the top shelf for the monitor. This is a very clever way of making use of extra space above your displays to put stuff like a clock or simply just for decor like Daniel did. It's only $20 and it gets attached on the back of your monitor's base amount. You can also use it to mount streaming equipment like webcams, lights, and even microphones. I'll also drop a link to this below if anyone is interested in checking it out. The other desk is mostly just used as a workspace, like building keyboards and other tasks that require an open space, but I think he decorated it very nicely with a pegboard, some posters up top, and a splash of greenery for those cozy vibes. Very clean work with the cable management on a sit and stand desk. We got a bunch of Velcro straps and raceways to keep everything contained and a cable box on the surface to hide the excess cables. The PC powering it all is a custom black on white build featuring the Ryzen 7 5700G paired with an RTX 3080. There's also a custom sensor panel that he made for temps and hardware info in the back, which is pretty cool. A really nice build to complement a pretty dope setup. Thank you, David, for sharing this with us. Here's a color scheme we just don't get enough of. You're either sick of seeing it or you're a big fan. There's no in between. So June is a wine delivery driver from Philly who does a bit of 3D modeling on the side. So he spent a good year putting together his happy space in his basement to be able to do everything from gaming to watching content and 3D printing, as you can probably tell. What's surprising is that he spent less than $3,000 on this entire setup. The desk consists of two different size IKEA Linman tabletops that have been stitched together and we got a bunch of legs underneath for support. However, I don't really like the location of the crotch pole in the middle. I feel like it would always get in the way of my legs. Since you don't have that much gear on the surface, you could have gotten rid of the center pole and just added one triangle bracket against the wall. That would have not only given your table enough support, but it would have looked much cleaner too. He's rocking a 49 inch CRG9 as the primary display with another massive 55 inch TV up top for the overhead sandwiched between two Rockville speakers. Ideally, you want those speakers to aim down and towards your ears for the best possible sound experience, but I'm just happy to see them mounted against the wall. Below that, we got an RK61 keyboard paired with a G305 mouse and an Xbox controller for certain titles. Aside from the speakers, he does have a few headsets to choose from for gaming and listening to music. You know, it's not often I see someone put a Ryzen 5 under a water block, but here we are. This is definitely overkill, considering he's only water cooling a budget CPU instead of a GPU. But I guess aesthetics are more important to some people, and I can respect that because I can relate. Nonetheless, a pretty epic setup to add to the Setup Wars collection. Thank you, June, for coming on the show. Coming up next is our youngest contestant from today's episode. Lloyd from New York, who was only 13 years old, spent a good year building this setup for the purpose of gaming, homework, and some productivity. Honestly, the fact that you got the fan configuration right in your PC already gave you some respect points. We got dual stack ultrawides, both mounted against the wall, and below that, he's rocking an AK61 keyboard paired with a Model O wireless and a TechSource Nexus white mouse pad. I do like the effort he put into the cable routing, but it sticks out a little bit more than it should because of the location of the keyboard. If you can bring that up a little bit closer to the edge of the mouse pad, the cable slack will be a lot shorter and it won't be as much of an eyesore. I would, however, store those remotes somewhere else, like a pencil drawer if you're not using them, just to declutter the surface a bit. And by judging how much random stuff you have laying around in your room, you could definitely use a bit of decluttering. In terms of audio, he's using a pair of Creative Pebble V2s for the primary source and a few headphones hanging underneath the desk for other use case scenarios. Cables could use a bit more tidying up, but overall it's nothing to really complain about, especially since you are just starting your setup journey. The PC, however, looks awesome. Nice selection of parts, and I do appreciate that you stayed consistent with the white color scheme. 
However, you can take the build a step further by replacing the default 12 pin cable with these pretty cool 600 watt extensions, which I'll link below. I'm not sure what the rules are for the apartment you're staying in New York, but I do see those empty walls as a blank canvas. So I suggest painting it with some personality. But all in all, a really great start to a never ending setup journey. Welcome to the setup world, Lloyd, and thank you for coming on the show. Wrapping up the episode is Toby, who's a sales manager at a data center from Switzerland. And the only reason why I'm featuring this setup is because I thought it was really cool what he did with those art panels in the back. We have seen these over and over again, but this is the first time I have seen someone get creative with them. By cutting into the sides, he's able to morph the design into something more abstract, and it actually came out looking good. This was the first thing that caught my attention, and maybe this will inspire someone watching to do something similar with their own panels. It does look like he does a bit of streaming, judging by the lighting and camera setup as well, but what's interesting is that the PC is on the left side, even though the side panel is clear, and the case itself is reversible, meaning he could have flipped the motherboard tray to the other side and moved the clear side panel to the right, that way he can still see inside of it. So it's confusing as to why he didn't take advantage of the main feature of this case. Kale management is a bit lazy using those panels to cover the left side, but hey, I guess it works. I'm absolutely loving the collection that's going on with the Lego Star Wars on the top shelf. And we also got a trusty companion who seems like she's going through a lot now. So let's just take a moment to appreciate the cuteness that has been bestowed upon us. And with that, let me know in the comment section which setup was your favorite. I already know who my vote is going to, and it's no setup. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love your beautiful faces, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.